If you're thinking of moving to Long Island, New York, in this video, I'm going to show you around Nassau County, Long Island. I'm going to show you attractions, amenities, and things to do in Nassau, and I'm getting after it right now. If this is your first time to this channel, and you want to know everything about living in Long Island, New York, subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications, so you can be the first to know about the current market in Long Island. My name is Cornell Smith with EXP Realty. We are calls and emails every day from people just like you looking for help while making the move to Long Island and we absolutely love it. Whether you're moving in 9 days or 90 days, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. All the information is in the description below so we can help you make a smooth move to Long Island. So as I mentioned before, I'm going to show you around Nassau County. To give a little overview of Nassau County, you can consider Nassau County as the suburb of New York City, well, Long Island in general. Nassau County and Suffolk County, the two counties that make up Long Island, New York, you can think of them as suburbs of New York City. So Nassau County has a population of about 1.4 million. It's known for, you know, good schools, being great for families, and having, you know, great outdoor activities. In fact, according to Nice.com, Nassau County is the number one New York State county for family life, outdoor activities, and retirees. So first off, I'm gonna talk a little bit about its location. So as I said, you know how Nassau and Suffolk are Long Island neighbors. I'm gonna show you how you get from Nassau and Suffolk. First, I'm gonna start off about Nassau's county location in respect to other counties. So first, I'm gonna show you its location in respect to Long Island neighbor of Suffolk County. So there's several different ways you can get from Nassau to Suffolk County. So one way you can get from Nassau to Suffolk County is the Long Island Expressway. You actually can use this to get from all the way from Suffolk County to Nassau County to Queens in New York City and to Manhattan, New York City. So first right now, I'm talking about the 495, the Long Island Expressway. Sign off in the Nassau side, then you cross this line, you're in the Suffolk side. So that's one way. Then you can also take the Northern State Parkway and now I'm starting in the Nassau side again. Now I'm crossing in into the Suffolk side. You can also use the Southern State Parkway again, starting from the Nassau side. Then yeah, I'm crossing down the Suffolk side. You can also use the New York 25A, sign on Nassau. Across here, now you're on the Suffolk side. So yes, there's several ways you could get from Nassau County to Suffolk County. So yes, like as I said before, how like the 495, so this is even the Suffolk side. So you can take 495 from the Suffolk side. Now you're crossing into the Nassau side. And you can actually use the 495 to get into Queens. So this is Nassau side going into Queens. And then you can actually take this 495. So I'm in Queens now. And you can take this all the way essentially to Manhattan. So that's one way. Another way you could get from Nassau County to Queens, you know, like I said before, the Northern State Parkway. So yeah, sorry, Northern State. So yes, in Nassau, now you're on the Queens side. Another way to get from Queens well, Nassau County to Queens is the New York 25. So yes, you can use the New York 25. Take this, start on Nassau. And then yes. Then that'll take you into Queens. You know, you can use a New York 25A, start on the Nassau side. Then this will take you to Queens. So we're in Queens side now. That's a 25. Yeah, so those are the several ways where you could take, you know, from Nassau County to get into Queens. 
So I start from the city in this instance. You could so the New York 25 will take you from the city and start going to Queens. And then it sends you then now Queens side into the Nassau side. So that's the New York 25. And then like I said before, the 495 actually suffer start from the Suffolk side. So you take the 495 Long Island Expressway, starting in Suffolk, now crossing into Nassau. And you're crossing into the Queen side. And then from Queens, cross to over here. And then this takes you to Midtown Manhattan. And you could also use the Northern State Parkway. Starting off in North State in Nassau. The North State turns into like the Grand Central when you get into the Queen side. Use this, it'll take you around Uptown Manhattan. Harlem area. So those are several ways you could get from Nassau County to Manhattan, AKA the city. So let me show you some things to do in Nassau County. So Elmont is a Nassau County and actually borders Queens. You could walk from Elmont to like Queens Village, which is in Queens and Cambridge Heights, which is in Queens, you know, where I grew up in. So not too far from that area, we have the UBS Arena in Elmont, which is the new home of the New York Islanders. So if you like, you know, the National Hockey League, you could come watch some games at the UBS Arena. And then if you're not necessarily a hockey fan, but if you're a fan of like comedy shows, musical concerts, Disney on Ice, Hot and Globetrotters, etc., there's many different events that the arena holds. I've been in there a few times. It's a nice arena. It's pretty dope having an arena I could walk to. And then next door to UBS Arena, we have Belmont Park, home of the famous horse racers. You gotta look dapper and wear those nice fancy hats when you go there. Just don't gamble all your money, you know, gamble responsibly when you're there. And then let me take y'all to, I see a Garden City area. So around Garden City, we have the Roosevelt Field Mall. So Roosevelt Field Mall is one of the largest malls in New York State, and I believe a top 10 mall in the entire United States. It has 250 plus shopping options you can choose from massive and then in the area we have a few you know good schools and universities we have Hofstra University there's a Delphi University and a little bit more south we have Malloy College so now I think I want to take y'all to Freeport so yes in the Freeport section we have the nautical mile so the nautical miles is essentially a mile long stretch of bars, boating and restaurant, you know, right in the water. Being that it's on the water, you know, there's a lot of good seafood options to choose from. So yes, when you head to the southern, more southern portions of Nassau, you come into the area of beaches. So some of the popular beaches in Nassau include Long Beach, Lido Beach, and Jones Beach. So East Middle, we have Eisenhower Park. That's a massive, what, 930 plus acre park. You know, a lot of things to do, activities to do, that amount of space. Also has a golf course. If that's your speed, you know, head out on the green. Now from East Middle, we're gonna go to Massive People. Here you see we have the United States of America roller skating. If you're a fan of, you know, roller skating at nighttime, you know, not a bad place to go. So yes, not too far from the United States of America roller skating ring, we have the Massapequa Preserve, 432 acres of nature, you know, biking trails, hiking trails, fishing, and nature walks. And then not too far from there, we have the Sunrise Mall. I'm hearing that it's either closed or it's about to close officially permanently after about 50 years of operation i should head out there soon to see for myself all right so then for massapequa we're gonna go into levittown so levittown is seen as the first suburbs 
and the entire United States. The home of the strip mall, there's a lot of things to do here. You know, you got so many food options like Wendy's. You have a bakery over here. And then you have a sweet tooth. You got Cold Stone ice cream. You got crumble cookies. You know, if you enjoy the movies, you got AMC right here. And then all the essential stores, you know, to upkeep your suburban home. We got a Home Depot here. We got a Walmart. We got a Target, Target J. We got Levittown Lanes. You know, neighborhood bowling alley. You could go there, you know, for parties, special occasions, fundraisers, special events, you know, to enjoy yourselves. If you enjoy bowling, company in the sports bar, good area. Then what else we have? You know, you see more restaurants. Lots of restaurants, a oh, buffet, pizzeria, and then, you know, Laser Bounce Family Fun Center, you know, Children Amusement Center, if you have children, you know, make sure they enjoy their time, you know, having fun. So I think I want to conclude my video here. So if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything about living in Long Island, New York, then subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market in Long Island. My name is Cornell Smith with EXP Realty. We get calls and emails every day from people just like you looking for help on making a move to Long Island and we absolutely love it. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, feel free to get a call, shoot a text or send an email. All the information is in the description below so it can help you make a smooth move to Long Island. So as I mentioned before, I was in Nassau County showing y'all around. Hopefully I showed you some things to do when y'all come to Nassau County. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Peace.